Psalm 31. In your righteousness deliver me, incline your ear to me, rescue me speedily, be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress, and for your name's sake, you lead me and guide me. You take me out of the net they have hidden for me, for you are my refuge. With your hand I commit my spirit. Be strong, and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 2 How like a father with his children, we exhorted each one of you and encouraged you and charged you to walk in a manner worthy of God, who calls you into his own kingdom and glory. Revelation 3 Yet you have still a few names in Sardis, people who have not soiled their garments. And they will walk with me in white, for they are worthy. The one who conquers will be clothed thus in white garments. And I will never blot his name out of the book of life. I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says. Luke 21. But watch yourselves, lest your hearts be weighed down with dissipation and drunkenness and cares of this life. And that day come upon you suddenly like a trap. For it will come upon all who dwell on the face of the whole earth. But stay awake at all times, praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are going to take place, and to stand before the Son of Man. The second letter of Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 1. To this end, we always pray for you, that our God may make you worthy of his calling, and may fulfill every resolve for good and every work of faith by his power, so that the name of our Lord Jesus may be glorified in you. I speak unto thee this day, and I say that it is men who bring to themselves multiplied sorrows, multiplied sufferings, because they depart from me. For I say, when men will go whoring after the ways that I do not intend or ordain for them, then I say, they set it up to have transgression to rule over them. That is, they set it up to have the sorrow, the hardship that comes to transgressors to be their own. And I say, it is because they are choosing to be losing by departing from me. Now I say this day when you look upon the condition that men and women are in in these dreadful times, why is it so? I say it is because they have chosen a way that I did not ordain nor did I provide. And I say they have chosen to go according to walk afar off from me. And I say they have chosen the way of iniquity, the way of darkness to be their own. Now I say this day that I don't have been God to intend that men would learn to live for me by repenting unto me and changing their ways. That is, by humbling themselves that they could indeed be brought forth in the newness of life that I provide. But I say, when men are vainly puffed up according to their own understanding, they esteem themselves as better than they are. They think they know more than I know, oh, what fools they are proven to be. Now I say this day, because you are living in a land that is full of rebellion and pride, I say that the same can easily slip in upon thee. That is, where you begin to think that you are the one who has brought forth yourself when it is not true. That is, men to be begin to take the glory to themselves. They begin to imagine they are better than they are. And I say they end in the drunkenness of pride. And I say when men are intoxicated on pride, I say they are easily led astray. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to pride, but I say that I call you to humility, to walk humbly before me. That is, that you can be uplifted, brought forth, guided, and directed in my way. For I say, if it is me that you will keep serving, seeking to please, and following after, then I say you are guided forth by me. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the blessedness of who I am. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do offer to you the way that is truth and light, I say you are meant to be accepting of the same. That is, you are meant to be thankful that it is me you can look to, believe in, and trust each and every day. For I say, when you will indeed be walking in the light, and then I say you are not led into a ditch. And I say, when you will indeed be accepting of the truth, then I say you can give thanks and praise unto me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do intend you to be coming forth, ever uplifted, directed, and guided in my way. And I say that I do intend you to be a partaker of that which I give time and again. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give the way of truth, the way of life, and the way of mercy intended. 
and I say that the ones who will be found abiding in me will partake of the same. Now I say this day in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, there are many who are led astray, they are led into the way of transgressors, and I say that that way is hard. But I say it is not me, the living God, who leads them there, but I say it is the adultery of their own hearts and demon forces that grab hold of them. For I say, when men and women have gotten their eyes full of adultery, then I say they crane their neck, they strain their eye to take in, to put on the ways of the heathen. And I say that those ways are nothing but damnation of soul. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to damnation of soul, but I say that I call you to walk soberly in me. That is, I call you to be sure what it is that you do in the sense that you are pleasing me. For I say you are not in this life to gain what it is that you think you need, but I say you are in this life to be pleasing unto me. That is, to walk in the way that I ordain, the way of my truth, my light, my mercy, and be thankful unto me. Now I say this day, let it be me that you continue to look to, and let it be me that you will continue to trust and obey. For I say if you are coming forth in that which I give, then I say you are uplifted in me. And yes, you are given the hope, the peace, the strength, the safety that I provide each and every day. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, blessedness, truth, and mercy intended. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do humble men, that is, I bring them low, that they would indeed repent. That is, that they would abhor themselves, see the error of their way, and cry out in repentance unto me. But I say, not every man will take the humbling to the good, but rather to the evil of his own soul. For I say, there are multitudes whom I have humbled, who have continued in the way of darkness, and gone on to only bring more sorrow to themselves. I say, this day that I, the living God, am at this time giving the call throughout the earth for all men everywhere to repent. And I say it is because men and women are needy of repentance, they are needy of returning, they are needy of seeing the error of their way. And I say it is me, the living God, who is in my mercy, giving them the opportunity to repent before my wrath is revealed. For I say that it is me, the living God, who desires that men would be restored unto me, rather than down forever and lose their souls. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men and women would walk uprightly, that they would be thankful to be ever guided by me. That is, that they would be thankful that it is me they can look to, believe, and trust day by day. For I say, when the people are ever looking unto me, then I say they will not have their eyes glued to the world. But I say, when the people are looking to the world, they are looking to that which is stupidity, darkness, and will take them in their own way. That is, the way that will prove to be hard, the, pre the way that will prove to be futility, the way that will prove to be damnation of their souls. I say this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would be humble before me always by continuing in repentance unto me. But I say you are living in a time in an age when men and women scoff the very call to repentance as though they had no need of the same. But I say if a man is truly wise, he will see that to repent is indeed a great privilege. That is, to be able to humble himself before me to cry out for my forgiveness and receive the same. Now I say this day when I the living God did establish that men would serve me, it was that they could be kept in this life. But I say when men through pride depart from me, taking their own way, they take the way of fools. For I say they will go in a way even generations of them that do nothing but magnify and intensify the curses in their lives. Then I say they are stragglers, they are wretches, they are exceedingly miserable and poor and afflicted, but I say it is because of the choices they have made against me. I say this day do not choose against me, but I say choose in cooperation with what it is that I desire and require. For I say if you will be choosing to walk uprightly in me, I say you will not be ashamed. But I say if you are choosing the way of transgressors, the way of fools, I say you are choosing the way of death. And I say you will know what it is to be damned even in this life, for you will suffer the agonies of the same. I say in this day that I, the living God, do intend that men would hear the call to repent, that they would obey and come forth in my way. And I say that I do intend that the ones who are mine would walk uprightly in me day by day. That is, ever thankful to be directed, corrected, and brought forth. That is, ever thankful to be given the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. Therefore I say this day, do not waver in what it is that I've called you to do, do not back up. 
but I say continue to live in and declare repentance revolution to a sin-sick, a dying world. For it is true that men are full of sin on every hand, they are sick from the sin, and dying and they're losing their souls through it all. And I say it is because they have refused to repent, they have shunned repentance, or they've never heard that they needed the sin. Therefore, I say, stay steady unto me, be faithful to remember that it is me you are meant to please. That is, do not seek to be pleasing yourself, do not go chasing the wind for some fabricated ministry of your own invention. But I say, simply stay steady at what it is that I've called you to do, ever may gladden me. And I say, be coming forth, knowing that it is me, the living God, you are meant to obey, to please, and follow after. I say, if men would get their eyes off of their own desire, <clears throat> their own lust and on to me, how much more peaceful their lives would be. But I say, when men are ever striving in the flesh to please their own carnality, I say they are striving to please the fool. For I say that the carnality of all men is foolish, it is stupid, it is dull and dumb. But I say that the way of my spirit is life and truth and mercy provided. Now I say that the carnal man in himself will self-destruct because death is the end of his reign. And I say that when men give themselves over to be ruled by the beast that is their own carnality, they are ruled by the fool. But I say when men will choose to be ruled by me, then I say they are guided in wisdom and truth. And I say they are given the light upon the path that they can indeed come forth rejoicing in me. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give the call to any and all, I say you are privileged when you will hear and obey. And I say, likewise, you are privileged to be able to declare that call, for I, the living God, have ordained it to be so. And I say, you are meant to be messengers of light. In a darkened world, you are meant to be proclaiming to the lost the way wherein they can be found. That is, found abiding in me, because they have repented unto me. I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful that it is me that you can look to and believe each day. That is, that you do not need to magnify and intensify suffering in this life by bringing it to yourself. But you can indeed refuse, refute, and rebuke the unfruitful works of darkness, not accepting them as your own. And I say that you can come forth, make glad for the privilege to be serving me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, revealed the way of all mercy and truth, and the way of hope intended. And I say, when it is me that you will be looking to in faith and trust and confidence, it is me who brings you forth. And it is me who will direct you, correct you, and give you the light always. For I say that men choose to be wretched, they choose to be miserable, they choose to be afflicted and poor. Why is it so? I say it is because they are choosing in opposition to me. I say this day do not take in the intoxication of pride, for the same will make you a drunken fool. But I say walk soberly each day and be ever faithful to be serving me. And I say be made glad that it is me you can look to, believe and entrust, for I am the I am. And I say be made glad that I will uplift and guide you forth, for yes indeed you are mine. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to be found going a whoring from me, but you can be found ever faithful to me. That is, ever faithfully walking in that which I give you, which is my light upon the path. And I say that you can be rejoicing that it is me you are privileged to look unto and believe. For I say it is me, the living God, who is righteousness and truth, mercy and hope, and the peace provided for those who believe upon me. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady in your confidence in me, the author and the finisher, the beginning and the end. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of righteousness and truth, mercy and light and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who will guide you forth by a plain path and direct your steps. Therefore I say, be faithful, be true, be steady in me, the one true God who does care for thee. And I say, be thankful each day that you can come forth rejoicing in what it is that I offer, what it is that I provide. That you can indeed be directed, corrected, and shown the light upon the path, for it is me, the living God, who is present to give to you the same. I say that you do not need to end up utterly wretched and miserable because of choices against me. But I say that you can indeed learn to cooperate with me and be maturing in me, whereby you become one with me. That is, where you will be willing to walk in the way that I give you without murmuring nor complaining, but rather with thanksgiving and gladness, because it is me that you serve. 
that you can come forth, may glad for the privilege to be ever guided in truth as you continue in repentance unto me. For I say to a repentant people that I, the living God, do give the abundance of mercy day by day. But I say I resist the proud, the defiant, the rebellious, for they go in their own way.